to my channel. So today's video is going to be an unboxing video of a lot of sneakers. So as you guys can see, I've picked up a lot of sneakers in June and then that's one that's brand new which I'm going to show you guys. And I didn't do a video about each of the sneakers individually because I wasn't too sure if you guys would be interested. So I thought I'll just like combine everything together and put them in one video and talk a little bit about sizing and all that good stuff. So we're gonna get started with the first pair and I feel like you guys can really guess what this is. Look how tiny the box is. So this is a pair of baby 350 V2s in the synth colorway. And just look at how tiny this is. This is so, so cute. I can't get over it. I bought this just for like display purposes. The size I got is a 5.5K. I don't know what that means, but I just think this is so cute. The retail price was 220 Australian dollars, which is pretty steep for a pair of baby shoes, but I mean, look at this. As you guys know, this was like part of the regional drop. So because I'm in Australia, we got the synth colorway and they're just so cute. So those are the synth. And moving on, I have these off-white Nike Zoom Terra Kaiser 5. And I got them in the black and pink colorway. They also came in two other colorway, which is like the white and green as well as the all green pair. I got this colorway because I felt like this would be the most wearable out of the three colorways. And I really like them. So as you guys can see, it has this like spiky outsole. And this is obviously designed to be a running sneaker. It's more like a track running sneaker and I really like the look of them but one mistake I made though was that I bought my true to size which is a women's seven and a half and they are too small for me so keep in mind that this is designed to be a women's sneakers I know they ran like larger sizes the larger size was maybe like a men's us 10 if i'm not mistaken they may have made them in larger sizes but anyway it is designed to be a women's sneaker and because of that i think that's why it's so narrow it is so damn narrow and because i went true to size these are way too tight for me so i don't know whether i'll be wearing these a lot only because they're so uncomfortable they feel fine like lengthwise but they're just incredibly narrow so if you are thinking about picking up a pair of these i would highly recommend going half a size up or even one full size up if you have wider feet. I do have slightly wider feet, um, but my friends who have gotten a pair, they all agree that it is a very narrow sneaker. So yeah, just size up for them if you guys are interested. Um, overall though, if they weren't that narrow, I feel like they're really comfortable because it has this like spiky outsole. It feels really good on feet, like it's really bouncy and like soft. It's really hard for me to describe it, but it just feels really good on feet minus the part that it's too narrow for me. Anyway, I've been rambling about these sneakers for too long. So, let's move on. So as part of that Off-White Nike collaboration, they also came out with apparel. So you guys can see there is tights as well as a top which is like a matching kind of set. It came in two colorways, so there's this like monochromatic one and then there's also like a all blue set. I went with the gray and black set because again, I feel like I would wear this a lot more. Overall, I think it's really, really cute. It has the off-white and Nike branding. And in terms of sizing, I would say these are true to size, so just go with your standard Nike sizing. So as a size reference, I usually wear small in Nike, but I ended up going for the extra small in these ones. I tried both the small and extra small and they both fit fine but if you prefer a little bit more of a snug fit for your leggings then I would say go for the extra small. The material is really nice and thick and stretchy so I feel like I didn't make any sense. I said true to size but yeah just anyway I guess you can go a size down for the leggings if you like like a really snug fit because I know girls like the leggings to be like tight and like so it sucks everything in. Um, so yeah, I got this an extra small. It is slightly tighter around the waistband, but I feel like it will stretch with wear. So I guess you can go a size down if you do end up picking this up. And onto the top, I got this in a size small. So I would say this is definitely true to size. Um, again, at the back here, it has the off-white Nike branding. And I feel like this is good even for like casual everyday wear, but you could obviously wear this to the gym. It looks so cute together. And I don't know if I would necessarily wear this to the gym. Usually when I go to the gym, 
I don't look that cute, so <laughs> um, so that's the apparel. Okay, let's move on to the next pair. So I have two of the same sneakers here, actually, just in different colorways. So they are the Nike Undercover Daybreaks. I've already done a review about the men's colorway, but they came out with the women's colorway. So this one over here is the green and red pair. And then let me just show you the other colorway as well. And then that's the black pair. So these are the two women's colorways for the undercover day breaks. I really like this silhouette in general. I feel like the black one you can get a lot of wear out because it's so like monochromatic, you kind of can't go wrong. But if you like a pop of color, then I'd recommend the green and red pair. And then also, this is the men's colorway. So I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. So they're essentially the same sneaker, just that they are in different colorways. I almost prefer the men's one a little bit more because it has the contrast swoosh as well as the white laces. So you can see the details a lot clearer. And then the women's one, I just feel like the black on black detailing um, I guess it makes it a little bit more low-key if you like that kind of look But either way you can't go wrong with like any of these I feel like they are good everyday shoes They're very comfortable and I feel like they look really cool on feet um, In terms of sizing these are definitely true to size So while we're talking about day breaks I actually have another pair of day breaks to show you guys And they are not a collaboration pair It is just the standard Nike day breaks And these are coming out this Friday and I think they're really cool so I'm gonna compare them side by side and as you guys can see the undercover one obviously has this heel counter detail as well as the very obvious like branding detailing um, but essentially it is the same silhouette and if you're not a fan of like this look where some people might find it a bit too funky you might enjoy just the standard day breaks um, they both have the waffle outsole and in terms of sizing they fit the same so this just doesn't have any of the branding but the Daybreaks is actually like a retro silhouette that Nike is bringing back. From what I've read the Daybreak is a silhouette that came out in the late 80s so it's really cool that they brought it back. I think it looks really good on feet again like everyday casual kind of sneaker. There's two other colorways coming out as well. I like the suede and nylon detailing and then the pop of color on the swoosh and again it has the waffle sole just like the undercover Daybreaks because they are essentially the same silhouette. And speaking of waffle soles, I find oh <laughs> I finally picked up a pair of the Nike Sakai waffles. Um, these ones I had to pay resale for. So let me just show you guys. I'm just gonna take out one side because I feel like you get the idea of what this looks like. As I was saying, I paid resale for these because I wanted them so badly and as I mentioned, they both have the waffle soles and I can see why people kind of found that the Daybreaks and the Sakai waffles have like a same vibe because of the outsole and kind of the overall silhouette as well. It has sort of like an extended back so with this one you can see the heel counter and then with the Sakai one it has like the extended midsole which I think is quite a cool feature and yeah I end up going with this colorway I think it looks really good on feet I actually went half a size up for this because a lot of people told me it fits small so I think I got it in a good size so what size did I get Ugh, let me let me have a look I ended up getting this in a men's six and a half and I feel like it fits really well it didn't really fit as small as I thought so yeah I think going half a size up you should be good um, I heard that they will be coming out with three other colorways later this month I think there's like a monochromatic one there's also like a bright colored one which I'm really excited I think the date is the rumored date is 18th of July so I'm really hoping I'll get a pair of those. I'm eyeing the monochromatic pair only because like I already have like so many colorful sneakers here so a monochromatic pair of Sakai's would be nice. So the next pair we're gonna talk about is this big box over here which I feel like you guys 
can already guess what this is. This is a pair of Nike Adept BBs and it is in the matte colorway. Does this box not look like a huge cake box? <laughs> Alright, let's just unbox this. So I've had these for a while now and I was gonna do a full video about them and then I filmed it and I didn't end up editing that video and then at this stage I don't know whether you guys are still interested so I thought I'll just include it in this video and talk about them oh, let me show you guys so when you open up the box this is what you get and ta-da these are as I mentioned before the Nike Adept BBs in the mag colorway let me get the other side for you and I got this in a size 7 um, this was the smallest size that they had at the Foot Locker that dropped them here in Melbourne and they actually ran a raffle for them. Now, I have not worn these out. These are like completely brand new. I've tried them on at home and they feel really comfortable and they definitely fit small because as I mentioned before, I'm usually a men's 6 and I have this in a men's US 7 and they seem to fit fine. I think it's just because it's very heavily padded on the inside so I would definitely recommend going a size up if you want to get a pair of these. Now, we all know that this is the auto lacing system, so you can press the buttons here to turn the sneaker on and then if you press the button, it either like loosens or tightens the sneaker and then you can also download the Adapt app on your phone and then you can like play around by changing the colors on this section over here and you can like loosen and tighten the laces. I think it's all very cool. Having said that though, the first day I got these sneakers, I kind of played with it for like two or three minutes and it's cool and then after that I kind of got over it so I feel like they're really cool sneakers to have but at the same time they're like kind of gimmicky if that makes any sense I don't mean it in a bad way but like do you, do you guys know what I mean? It's like, it's cool, but like, yeah. The retail price on this is like 420 Australian dollars, which at first sounds really steep, but then if you think about it, like a pair of 700 Yeezys cost 380 Australian dollars, and just for like $40 more, you have technology in your sneakers so I don't think the price is really that bad so it also comes with this charging pad over here so you are meant to like charge your sneakers on this pad here I have not tried it out because I haven't worn these sneakers out of my house so I don't know what the battery life is like um, but I'm just happy to have this in my collection I don't know whether I'm actually physically going to wear this out like I was trying to think how I would style this and I don't know maybe go for like a really retro kind of look so the colorway as you guys know was inspired by the Nike mags from Back to the Future 2 so I feel like if I were to style this I would wear kind of like loose jeans and have kind of a old school kind of look I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about anymore so anyway let's move on to the next pair <sighs> we have two more pairs to go I think yeah so I'm sure you guys recognize this box as well it is a pair of Travis Scott Jordan 1s and I just think like this pink is so nice and shout out to my friend Chris he's actually the plug for this pair of sneakers now I know this came out like over a month now so I'm team late on this but I'm glad I finally got a pair this is in a size US 7 and I don't really have any Jordans in my collection so these are probably the best one of the best Jordans to have in my collection so this comes with the spare laces, so there's like red, pink, and brown, and a lot of people wear it with the pink, which I think is such a look. They look really good. I can see what the hype is all about, and I know a lot of people are saying this is sneaker of the year, and you know what? They might be right, but there's been quite a few good releases so far, so it's hard to say. But yeah, glad that I finally got these. And then, last but not least, I have another pair of Jordans, which is really rare for me. If you guys watch my channel, you know that I don't really talk about Jordans and I don't really own a lot of Jordan sneakers, only because like, I feel like I don't have enough knowledge to talk about Jordans in case I get any of the information wrong and you guys might be angry so anyway so this is actually a gift from a subscriber so thank you so much Darren 
I'm super happy that I have this in hand. So this is the Vogue Jordan 3 and I believe it came out towards the end of last year. I think September last year. I checked before. So this is what they look like and I feel like this is such a beautiful pair of sneakers. Again, I don't know too much about Jordans but I feel like these just look very luxe and quite feminine at the same time. So it has this like shiny tweed material as well as like leather detailing which I think looks really really good. And then when you look at the back of the sneaker, you can see like a signature over here and this is actually Anna Winter's signature. She is obviously the editor of Vogue. I think they're just really nice and yeah, I'm just super happy and obviously they're a gift so thank you so much. I really really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, those are all the sneakers that I picked up recently. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what other videos you want to see from me. Yeah, I've just made a mess right now. So I'm going to go clean this up. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys really, really soon. Bye. So I actually filmed this video yesterday. And then I realized I left out some of my sneakers. So I'm going to do this. One more time. <laughs> As you guys can see, I have... I have... What? I don't usually wear a lot of white sneakers because I'm so afraid of getting them dirty. Dirty!